Hello everyone and welcome to Unicorn Light Tower. Sincerely hope everybody is doing amazingly well today. Whether you are brand new and never clicked onto this channel before, whether you are returning, welcome one and all. Uh, so good to be back. Took a mini hiatus while um, myself and my family moved across the United States from Santa Fe to New York. So we are back with a three card, three paw reading as usual. And today we are focusing on unlocking hidden messages just for you. What is waiting to be revealed to you? What's wanting to be revealed to you today and from what source? We shall find out. So this is pile one. This is pile two and this is pile three. So we all have oracle cards here. Um, each deck has a different oracle card on top to help you help you differentiate between the energies. But however you choose the cards or choose your pile is your own personal private business. So let's go ahead and get right into the reading before just a general disclaimer. Whatever resonates, that's wonderful. Um, if something resonates, that's beautiful. And if it doesn't, don't don't even worry about it. Uh, if nothing resonates, feel free to choose another pile. If nothing resonates again, then maybe these messages were not for you. But do feel free to check in again. The more aligned you are with these, with yourself and your own intuition, the more these readings will resonate. This is all about your energy and whatever you need to hear at this current time in your life. Let's go ahead and get pile two and pile three out of the way. So if you chose pile one, we have these oracle cards here. We will be moving on to tarot for some more clarity. And again, unlocking, we're going to unlock some hidden messages for you, what wants to be revealed to you at this time. So let's get right into it. So your first card is fire elemental. I ignite the fire within me that connects me to the universe. Uh, sorry, that connects me to the divine. Wonderful. That's your first card there. Second card is energy, healing energy and immense vitality flow through me easily and effortlessly. Gorgeous. Okay. And then you have 1000 deeper understanding. Beautiful. And then you have extremes. Okay. Well, pile one, the first message, the energy around this reading, the first message that I'm getting for you very clearly is that there's some, some stuck energy and what's waiting to be revealed to you is your own energy and how you use it. So there's a lot of passionate energy and fire energy that's really trying to move through your body. This is physically, orically, this is on all levels and all layers here. How you use your energy is shifting. You've done a lot of healing. You've done a lot of whatever it is that you needed to do to sort of one of a better term, face your life, right? Um, I didn't do it like this, like you haven't done it, you have faced your life, but you know, what does that mean? This is a general reading, this will be different for each and every one of you, but you've done the work, you've absolutely done the work. Um, but now what's left is your energy and how you're utilizing it. Um, before, when you were working um, in the world, you gave a lot of your energy away. And there is a very specific way that you did this. You didn't necessarily give it away um, fairly recently because you've been working on boundaries and figuring out how all of that works. So you've been very good on the boundaries element and protecting your energy that way. But you've been spending a lot of uh, time and effort in protecting yourself into not being seen or various different parts of yourself not being seen. However, Pal One, you've been integrating these parts sort of behind closed doors. So you are ready to be seen. So there's an element here of some of the extremes of your old life in a way of certain situations or things that used to happen um, or some of the lingering situations that you had when you were sort of a different person before, before you were sort of less integrated. Um, and they are still around and that that is causing a little bit of sort of anxiety or um, a little bit of uh, darkness in and around you. But we can help you through that. So the first thing to do is to really acknowledge where you are right now. You are a, you're a brand new person as such, but, and a lot of your circumstances reflect 
that brand new aspect of you without a shadow of a doubt. But there are some lingering parts of you or parts of your life that are still foreshadowing the, the old part or shadowed by the old part, maybe the decisions that you made before or the way in which you lived before. And then on the other side of it, you've got this parallel side of yourself too, where your energy is shifting. It's already, it's shifted already and you're showing up for yourself in a completely different way. So you have your energy sort of working through you differently. Um, and you're no longer using a lot of that energy to sort of shield yourself or to hide parts of yourself. Um, so you could be sort of left alone in society, not necessarily accepted. A lot of you didn't really care if you were accepted or not. I mean, we all do to a certain degree because it's a human function. We want to be accepted. And to that degree, you did. But you really wanted to be accepted so you could be left alone to do what you wanted to do. So you did the bare minimum in order to sort of fit in. But now you've really understood that there is a part of you that's not going to downplay anymore. You're going to live the way that you want to and you're willing to do what it takes to work on your own terms. And that's a beautiful thing. And you have a much deeper understanding of all the layers, um, all the healing that you've been through, all the understandings of, and this is really important too to acknowledge, you know, the way in which you worked before and the way in which you utilized your own energy and sort of maneuvered yourself through the world um, and through society was what you needed to do at the time. And there's complete acceptance for that. Now, you don't work like that anymore, and that's wonderful. But like there's an acceptance for you in that in that way, in your soul. And that's really affected the way that you show up. You're no longer sort of hiding yourself. So there's extra energy that you have and this extra energy is, is trying to get integrated into your soul and you're moving differently. So it's just a matter of acknowledging sort of the passionate energy. And also there's, a, there's an aspect of yourself that's like, where is all this energy coming from? Some of you may not be sleeping as well as you did before. There's extra energy. You can feel it in your system. And some of you are really happy with it. Some of you might be a little bit freaked out by it um, because it's extra energy and you're wondering like what's going on. And this is just um, waiting for you to sort of infuse that energy within and, and work on um, integrating that energy. It's extra energy that you held um, other people or society away. And that's what you needed to do. And all of this energy now is up for you. It's disposable energy for you to do whatever you want to do with it. Now, what you want to do with it is do whatever you want to do. You've made decisions to move in a certain way, integrate yourself in a way um, into the world. And your external circumstances are showing that. They're definitely showing that. You're showing up for yourself in a new way. And this is a beautiful thing. Things are coming to you effortlessly, like really small things at first, but bigger things will come in. But some of you are overshadowed a little bit and, and really focusing, not necessarily over-focusing. It's understandable that you're going to be here and do and feel this way. But you, because so many things in your life are a catalyst and they're moving and you're, you know, there's brand new beginnings there and, you know, you're attracting even smaller things that you need in such, such an effortless way that you're focusing on what still remains from your old life and that's causing some anxiety and then on top of that you have this extra energy that's going through your body and trying to figure out um, how to integrate it so you know stay firm on where you want to be so um, uh, for some of you if you've clicked on this pile and it's resonating and you're like oh my goodness maybe I should go back to um, doing some of the things the old way until I can get back on track no You've done everything so far without compromise and everything has worked out. So this is not necessarily a time for you to compromise. This is a time for you to stand firm and believe where you are. Yes, some of the old stuff might be coming back. It's reflected and it might be stuff that needs to be taken care of. But you have to absolutely, if you can, hold faith in where you are. It's all of this extra energy that's in and around you, that's integrating in and around you right now, is going to help you pull through and manifest what it is that you need. Sort of the antidote, as it were, to what you need in order to neutralize whatever is coming up for you. And again, this is old stuff, maybe stuff that, that you made decisions and things that are 
overlapping from when you were a different person, right? And again, we acknowledge that you need to take care of them. And for some of you, we acknowledge that this is sort of a, a big deal. It could be for some of you, it could be debt. For some of you, it, you know, it could be um, past lovers or love stuff that you need to figure out, energy around love. Uh, for some of you, it's about um, employment. For some of you, it's about work. It'll be different for each and every one of you. But it'll be something that affects a certain part of your life in a very um, specific way. And everything else in your life is showing you that you are moving forward. You've just got to have faith. You've never been here before. So that's even scarier in a way because there's nothing to compare it to. But also, you are getting little signs from the universe that, you know, uh, you know, admittedly, smaller signs if you need something it comes to you if, if if this happens then this person comes to you and it's 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 small things but they're all falling into place and every single one of these things is a sign from the universe that you're on the right path so this deeper understanding that you have for yourself cherish it you've done this work you've also you know we want to acknowledge too that you've taken yourself out of situations to improve your situation, to move yourself um, further down the line on your path. And you've gone through um, this whole sort of cycle where you're no longer compromising on what it is that you want. And you've taken some chances. You are fully out of your comfort zone. You're fully out of your comfort zone. So it's completely and totally natural and understandable that something from maybe your past uh, that needs to be taken care of, should be taken care of the way in which you took care of it before in the past. It's understandable that that part of your life maybe needs to be taken care of in a certain way. That's This is how your mind is saying. And then, you know, when we've taken care of that, we'll get back on track of where you are. But it's no longer, you no longer need to compromise. There is energy coming in. This energy that you have, this passionate energy coming in is enough to attract and to sort of release whatever it is is coming up for you guys. And again, it'll be uh, different for each and every one of you. Stay with this deeper understanding and honor where you are um, and all of this, this beautiful movement that you've taken, these chances that you've taken. This, you know, For some of you, it's sort of this uh, live free or die kind of attitude. You've really gone for it. You put yourself out there and said, I'm really going to do it. For some of you, it's a little bit smaller, but you're still outside of your comfort zone. It really doesn't matter. And it's not a composition, uh, competition about, you know, who's going with the grander gestures. It really doesn't matter. All of you are um, eventually going to be working outside of your comfort zone or you're moving toward that now. And it's very important that you acknowledge that this is absolutely huge what you're doing. Working outside of your comfort zone um, you know, a lot of people say that, you know, things come when things come easy, you know that they're right. But actually, in many ways, it's really the opposite. You know, the little things that are coming, you should have things that come in that are effortless if you are in alignment with it, in alignment with that energy. But when you're outside of the comfort zone and you're really leveling up, very often certain situations come up for you and they're a little bit uncomfortable and that is a sign that you are leveling up that you are moving further up that ladder that you're somewhere that you've never been before and that's really important to acknowledge you know if things are if you're leveling up and things are really easy um and you're not feeling anxiety or something i mean that's amazing too but generally speaking when you get into these situations and you're leveling up you know, you get tested, whatever, whatever, especially if you've really leveled up, if you've really gone for it. So for those of you who have really, really gone for this and just said, we're doing it, I'm just going to do it. Then, you know, whatever's coming up for you now is ready to be released. It's ready to be looked at. It's ready to be diffused in many ways. And it's something that it's not going to hold you back anymore. So, you know, if, if you've gone into this situation or you're moving into this new way of being in the world and integrating into the world and some things are coming up for you and you're worried about them, you're exactly where you need to be. You just need to remember on the other side of that, that there is another side of it and that the energy that you have, that you've worked really hard to, um, to pull back to yourself. You know, you spent so much of your energy preoccupied with how you were going to survive and what you were going to do. And and how you were going to protect yourself and how you were going to feel safe and all of that was very necessary for you. Now some of that has been dropped and there's extra energy now that you can use for that passion and say, 
I'm exactly where I need to be and I have the resources, I have the passion, I have the energy to think outside of the box because that's something that you can do and you're very good at, to think outside of the box, to come up with a, a solution um, to release my past in a way that I wouldn't have done this before. So I don't need to go back to how I would have dealt with this beforehand. I can still keep on to my path. I can stay on my path. I can stay true. I can stay aligned with what I want and have um, the freedom that I'm looking for and the freedom that I've worked so hard to get and trust that this energy, this that the universe is bringing me what I need to move through this. So, and what is it, whatever's coming up for some of you, it's not bad stuff. It's, you know, it's stuff that, you know, as it comes up, you will deal with and you will integrate it and you will move through it. It's stuff that needed to come up anyway. So it doesn't take away from the fact that you have absolutely moved into this new, uh, like, uh, era of your life and that you deserve this and that your energy is working differently and that you know who you are. And if you don't know who you are, a lot of you know who you aren't. And that's just as important, some may say, just more, more important in a way. So these extremes that you have um, of going backwards and forwards and, you know, when, when things get tough and you, you, you're under pressure, this idea that you need to revert back to an old way of doing things, it's totally natural and understandable. But it's not necessary in this case for those of you who are going through it. Yeah, you have... For some of you, it's um, the way in which you show up in the world and also finances too. So you've got the Ace of Pentacles. It's all absolutely possible for you. Look at this Ace of Pentacles and the Magician. All of your energy is aligning. So give yourself a little bit of time. Now, this is a timeless reading, but we just came out um, of Mercury and Retrograde um, in the February of 2022, right? Um, and a lot of planets just went direct also but this is a whenever you click onto this this is a timeless reading it's it's gonna res uh, resonate no matter what but uh, we are reading at a certain time so there are things that are moving energies that are moving in and around you so you have all that you need energy wise uh, magic wise and also the way in which you see you see opportunities outside of the box you can your energy is free now to attract and be aligned with whatever it is that you want so don't come this far to underestimate yourself now uh, you are showing up the way in which you want and some of you are very hard on yourself because the thing is it's like you you achieve these incredible feats and then when you get to the, the sort of top of that mountain, instead of going, oh my God, I can't believe I did that. You might do that for 30 seconds and then you're like, what's next? What else can I do? Now, there's nothing wrong with that because you're always growing and, and learning and moving. But at the same time, you know, really understand how far you've come and how incredible that is. Um, you know, when you look back on your life, it's just what you've uh, what you've achieved, especially recently, power one, it's absolutely incredible. So, you know, yeah, you can always go a little bit further. You can always go a little bit more. That's part of your personality. You're always going to be growing and moving and shaking, but also just really be in this place of gratitude for where you are right now, because you have built that your faith built that your willingness to put yourself out there built that your willingness to be vulnerable built that your willingness to look at what isn't or wasn't working in your life and shifting that and owning it you know healing really comes from this aspect and you know healing again is not that there's anything wrong with you you're completely whole but we've all been through some kind of trauma if you're human you've been through some kind of trauma that's it very few people get through this life without trauma understanding and integrating it and really coming into seeing your power that's where the healing is and that's where when you really acknowledge the wholeness of who you are and this is the path that you've been on and you've been on it for so long that now that you're you're seeing your outer circumstances your external circumstances shift and change what's being hidden and revealed to you right now is your true energy your true nature um, and this can take you in any different direction so don't you dare back down um, if you're at that point where you're like um, this is amazing i'm seeing it things are changing this is great 
but I'm really worried about this one thing and maybe I should, you know, revert back. No, stay where you are. You know where you are is in this great plateau of moving forward. There's no reason to go back in any way, shape or form. Hold the faith, believe in your magic and really integrate this energy, this extra energy that you have around you, that passionate energy. One way that you can do that in a practical way is really acknowledge how far you've come and understand that and really understand that the universe wants to help you because your energy is pure and beautiful and by pure we mean you want to help you want to be of service and what you give to the universe is of value it's of immense value actually to the point where don't feel as though you really understand that yet like how valuable you are yet but that's okay because you're just moving into the cycle now um, you're just getting this this new sort of vibe, this new understanding of where you are. So it's going to take a while for you to acclimate to this. So stay where you are in this way. And we don't mean staying motionless, like stay where you are. Um, we mean like use that as a beautiful base and a foundation and move up. Don't move backwards. Um, energy that's coming in from the past, people that's trying to come in, um, you know, all of that, unless there are new soul contracts in and around that energy, unless there are, uh, there's new energy um, in and around that, anything that was toxic is not going to work for you anymore. But you have everything that you need to move forward. It's just you're lacking a little bit of faith right now. And again, that's totally understandable because again, you don't have anything to compare it to but you have all the resources you need. Perhaps what's needed now is you've come this far sort of on your own. Yes, you've been working with the universe, you've been working with your guides, we know that. But to really sort of bring you sort of um, with this complete 180, to bring you home as it were, what's really needed is this to rely on the universe now and trust in your aligned energy and say, all right, universe, I'm ready for you to step in. I don't know what to do about this one aspect of my life in the past. It's no longer me, um, but I need you to help me out with this. Let the universe come in and, and bring in some of that magic. You've done so well on your own. Uh, uh, again, aligned energy and working through it. But this is, this is a little bit larger than you and that's okay. It's okay that you don't know how this is going to work out. It's okay that you don't have all the answers right now. Um, you're not required to. All you're required to do is believe in your magic. Integrate this extra energy. Acknowledge how far you've come. Show up in the way that you've been showing up. In that, you know, outside of this comfort zone, which is very difficult. Not everybody is able to do this. Lots of people want to stay in their own comfort zone. You know, and that's fine. You know, no judgment. But this is not what you're doing. Acknowledge that. Hold space for that. Know that the universe is acknowledging that and seeing that and is willing to help you. So, you know, don't um, run around chasing your own tail, going over the same thing over and over again. Again, expand your energy and release it to the universe. There will be some practical ways that you will be able to systematically baby steps, walk through this and release uh, for good your past. It's coming up, but you are on the right path. You have everything that you need without a shadow of a doubt. And, you know, on top of that, there's an aspect of you, um, this beautiful energy that you have as you've been coming into really reveling in this beautiful uh, way that you have outside of your comfort zone where you're like, all right, I am outside of my comfort zone, but I'm rocking this and I'm who I want to be. So this is a person that you are proud of. You're you're proud of who you are. You're proud of how you're standing up. You're proud of how you've done everything so far. So stay with that energy and acknowledge that. And honestly, this is just the beginning of your journey, Pal One. You're really moving into this huge expansion of your personality and also your your external life has already started shifting, but it's going to expand even further. This is just the beginning. You probably won't even recognize your life in six or eight months. So just hold space for that. But it's there's no reason for you to lose heart in any way if any, if any of you are, um, because all of this, you haven't come this far not to go the entire way. So if any of you have any doubts of anything coming up, just go back to believing in your own magic. It's going to happen. Baby steps, very practical baby steps. Stay with that expansion and that beautiful energy that you have here.
um, and really utilize that energy by not like being hard on yourself or using that time or that energy to doubt yourself. Really hone in on what you're here to do to shift the world, the energy of the world, the ideas that you have are slightly different or the way in which you show up for people is slightly different and that's exactly what the world needs. So it's almost like there's an expansion of the energy in and around you, just putting you where you need to be. So all you need to do is have faith in yourself and have faith in the connection that you have with the divine and all will work out. You absolutely got this, pal one. So my darlings, that's what we have for you. Thank you for tuning in. If you have not subscribed already, we would love to have you. All the details are where they are down below the subscribe button. You know the deal. You've been on YouTube before. So thank you for joining. And we are sending you so much love and light and beauty for exactly where you are and who you are in the world. This is gorgeous for you. Go use your beautiful magic um, and go have faith in yourself. There's nothing that you cannot do. Until we meet again, pile one, take care. Okay, beautiful pile twos. If you chose this pile, then this is your reading. Uh, we are unlocking hidden messages for you. What wants to be revealed to you at this time? We will start off with Oracle, move on to our beautiful tarot. Let's see what messages we have for you today. Hedge, hedgerow. Let it go. That is your first card. The little unicorn hedgerow. And number eight, the infinity symbol on its side. And then we have self-reflection, number 17 or number eight, if you put them together. Then you have Archangel Gabriel. I invite Archangel Gabriel to bring hope and intuition into my life. And then finally you have grace. I grace graciously accept the infinite love of the universe. Okay, so what I'm feeling from you, what we're feeling from you, um, Pal 2, is a little bit of sort of despair, a little bit of darkness, but bear with us. It's all fine. It's all totally fine. Um, it's, um, it's, it's almost like you were doing so well, everything was absolutely great, and it's like you sort of fell into a puddle of... Um, uh, of a little bit of gray matter, if that's it. So, if that's the best way to do it. So the way in which, the first thing that we're gonna say to you is, the way in which you're seeing yourself right now, Pal 2, is not accurate at all for most of you, right? Um, it isn't. If you're having any doubts or you're um, feeling like you're not good enough or you're feeling as though you've come as far as you can um, but you don't know what's going on or just, um, just, a little bit miffed you're not re you're really a little bit overwhelmed you don't understand what's going on just a little bit of this extra energy that you just can't make any sense of um a little bit of darkness here and there whatever it is it's it's a little bit of cloudiness it's coming up so we can we can outline exactly what's going on for you it's actually quite simple You've made a lot of head uh, headway, just like Pal One, but very, very different energy. And you're leveling up in a way that you haven't, again, like Pal One, but very different energy. And what's coming up for you right now is, um, it just, it's just a little bit of shadow stuff uh, that's coming up for you, just for you to move through. Now, as we say on this, if you've been with me for a little while, you, there's no reason to go down the rabbit hole and do a bunch of shadow work. A lot of you have already done that. This is just stuff that's coming up head on for you to really move through it, which means that you've already moved through the energy. You already know what you're doing. The fact that it's coming up head on, it's kind of hit you at left, out of left field and you're feeling a little discombobulated. It's because you've done the work and it just wants to be acknowledged. That's it. Now, um, behind this, there might actually be something that's going on that needs to be fixed, that needs to um, be worked through. All of that is easy, just like Power One. You'll be able to take those practical baby steps and get through it. But the overwhelming arc of this is that um, this is a good sign, believe it or not. However you're feeling is a good sign because it means that uh, you are at this point, this precipice of really changing your life in a very significant way. And as you've leveled up, your energy is leveled up in a way that it never has before. So this one thing is coming back for you, for it to be acknowledged. Now, 
for some of you, it's it's connected to self-worth, whatever it is. And of course, these are general readings. So it's going to be each and every one of you is going to have um, a different factor in this. But it's connected to self-worth and what you truly think that you believe. So you've been working on so much, Pile 2, that as you've leveled up on each instance, you've gone, oh, you know what? I do deserve this. Yeah, I do deserve this. And you've been sort of moving forward and realizing how much you do deserve and and this has been expanding your heart and this is part of the self-reflection and really honoring yourself and you've done an incredible job and then you sort of hit this plateau where it's like and it's not like you've been knocking out the easy stuff like as you've been working through and really leveling up this is this has been tough stuff but you've gone through it. You've gone through those storms. You've said I'm going to do this anyway. I want this life. I know what I need to do. I'm doing it. But this is something that's coming up for you now that's kind of deep-seated. Now, we don't want to suggest in any way, shape, or form that you've never worked on this. You have. You absolutely have. That's why we've said don't. You don't have to go down, uh, down through the rabbit hole. But there is something now for you to really look into and release once and for all. So, and it's, it's something that's bringing you out of hope. It's something that's bringing you out of your intuition. It's almost overriding your intuition. That's usually impeccable, by the way. When you listen to your intuition, you're absolutely spot on, right? And it's even getting into your head a little bit where it's, um, it's uh, not enough time. I don't, you know, I don't know what I'm doing, this, that, and the other. It's, it's taking you away from that sort of still peaceful feeling that you can click into. And you've been clicking into that more so than you have done before. Now, this isn't going to stay. It's not going to stay at all. This is just a small sort of blip in what's going on. And this is coming up for you to review so you can reveal, uh, so you can release for once and for all. And again, it's not about going down the rabbit hole and doing more work. The work that you've done has brought you to this place in time and it's a beautiful place in time and it, whatever it is, it's, it's something very tangible for each and every one of you, but it's connected to self-worth. Um, so all it means is that <clears throat> using that energy, using that beautiful energy, not against yourself, but using that beautiful energy to acknowledge exactly where you are. And acknowledge that whatever you're feeling is what you're feeling because that's perfectly natural and perfectly fine. And also understanding that this too shall pass. That's part of it. That's the first layer. And then the second layer is to really step into what it is that you need to do to face it and say, what is this asking from me once and for all? It's almost like you've been peeling back the layers of the onion for this and you've been working different angles and healing different aspects of this but you are at the core of something and again it's really integrated into your self-worth and at the end of the day we are going to say this because it's absolutely true whatever it is that you want to do or whatever it is that you want to leave behind or whatever whatever life that you want you absolutely deserve it and you're on the way to getting it you're absolutely there um, so don't get disheartened by any of this. This is just, um, again, like the lovers came up, um, at the end of this, as we pick this up and the sun also before I even, um, shuffled this. And honestly, this is just an integration process. This is a sort of, as you're moving down, um, the line of what it is that you want, this is more integration. So if you can, Try not to get caught up in sort of this despair of I don't know what I'm doing because some of you feel very overwhelmed. Um, and that's just an indication that this energy is absolutely showing you what it is. Um, and for some of you, there's a little bit of grief and there's a little bit of sadness in there because uh, the self-worth comes from um, trauma from before. Um, and again, all of this has been worked on. So it's not like, all right, it's coming up for you to to heal, it's more, it's coming up for you to see it sort of in a brand new light, to see it for what it really is, so you can acknowledge it. Now, once you acknowledge it and release it, um, any kind of physical aspects that were associated to, um, to this energy will dissipate in your life. Um, and again, this, because it's a general reading, this will be show up very differently for each and every one of you. If uh, the self-worth came up in regards to finances, once this is faced, your finances will ease up. Um, if this is love, you know, um, you know, all of this will, will go through each and every layer, obviously. 
Um, however, this is touching your life and each and every one of you has a different aspect of life that this is touching. Once this is fully acknowledged, um, the, the physical aspect of what this is influencing will, will succumb to the energy in and around it and it will dissipate. It will become much easier and you'll be able to move through it with this flow that you don't necessarily feel now. So for some of you who are like, what do I still need to be healed? Uh, what still needs to be healed? Or I'm a little bit worried that this is coming up. You know, I've done this before. You know, this is, this is not to blow it out of proportion. This is just, again, to, to be seen, to be absolutely seen, which means that there's an aspect of you that still needs to be seen um, and still needs to be cherished by you. Um, that's all there is. And with all the work that you've done, you're ready to be able to do this. So let's get you some more information with this. So you've got the three of pentacles. For some of you, it's finances. Yeah, you've been through the worst of this already, four of wands. Um, yeah, each and every one of you is a little bit different um, how this is affecting you. Sorry. So for some of you, it's uh, finances. But we want to assure you that you've been through the worst of all of this. So this is not coming up for you to face yet again. This is not a battle um, for aspects of yourself that you need to do to regain your sort of sanity. This is, again, this is just for you to reflect, for you to really understand and to get into those depths of what is connected to you not feeling good enough. But this is ready for you to review now. Yeah, it's kind of tough in a way, but it's ready for you to review. And... And everything that's underlining that too, again, will be easier once it's reviewed. So um, a lot of you are moving on to sort of sunnier prospects in many ways, right? And you're, you're leveling up in ways that you haven't before. Again, um, s similar attributes in some ways to Pile One. If you want to check out Pile One, you're welcome to, if your intuition tells you to do that. Different energy, but you might get something from it. But this is, we want to acknowledge that uh, wherever you are right now is exactly where you need to be. And you're not going backwards. You're not, um, you're not slipping into old habits. You're not doing, you're absolutely shifting from where you were before into something brand new and something brand new is available to you. Um, it's on the other side of this without a shadow of a doubt. Um, so if you're feeling as though this sort of like dark matter or this gray matter really is around you and you can't see through the clouds at the moment, you can't see the sun, that's okay. The sun is still there. It's absolutely still, still there. Stay with it. Um, really click into your emotionality and ask what it is that's showing you. Your, your past, your energy, um, and, and who you are, it's trying to show you something. There's a, there's something that's forming and once it shows you and sort of shows you what it is, uh, then you will be able to release it. You'll be able to move on from it. Now it's understandable that you don't want to see it. It's, and it, you're not running away from it in any way, shape or form. It's just the way in which you're handling it, the way in which you're seeing it. You're wondering, you know, why this is coming up, but this is literally just for you to understand. It just wants to show you what it is uh, again. And it's it's all coming. And for some of it, it could be bloodline stuff too that's meshed with, you know, um, older stuff, stuff from your childhood. But whatever it is that's coming up could be quite big. But again, you've done the work. You've absolutely done the work. Let's get you a little bit more information. Um, for each and every one of you here too. I'm feeling these cards. Let's see what we have. Yeah, freedom. This is all you, uh, every single one of you in one way or another has asked for freedom and you've asked for that freedom for leadership, right? So when you go back and say, I don't know why this is happening because you've asked for freedom. Now, a lot of people are, you know, understanding what freedom means to them, but r real freedom comes from understanding yourself and knowing that you're a sovereign being. This is all in your hands and being out and integrated into the world the way you want to be. Now, you're not in control of how people see you. That's totally fine. You're not bothered about that. But how you see yourself is absolutely and totally important. So this is all layered into what's going on in here, pal too. And this is all layered into your freedom, your complete and total freedom. 
right? And this is what you've asked for in one way or shape or form, either before or now. And this is all part of you moving into a sort of a brand new version of self. Now, it's not really, it does seem like a brand new version in a way, but it's, it's who you really are taking off or letting everything sort of fall away that you no longer need. There was a lot of masks that you used. I mean, everybody does in society, but you you use them a lot to sort of um, shift and move in different ways to be able to um, sort of, you have that theatrical element to you, to be able to move in the direction that you want to. Um, and you you did it on your own terms, certainly, but this is like, you're standing there now, you're taking the mask off and you're done. You're done with all of this. You're just saying, this is who I am. So really clicking into your emotionality and really owning that is one part of this thing because you're very deep thinkers. You're, um, you're brilliant at what you do. You're extreme empaths. You can feel what other people feel. So that's a brilliant thing because you can hold space for people in a way that people aren't really doing um, in society. It's kind of like shifted the other way. It's like, it's almost like, I want this. I'm not listening to you anymore. And that's fine. Everybody can do whatever they want. But coming back to this sort of humanitarian aspect of, I don't need to judge you um, through my experiences. You know, I don't need to comment on your life by looking through my, ex your life through my experiences. You can really differentiate between that. I can understand that that's what you've done. I can I can also understand that's what I've done. And that's total freedom to you. And you're, you've been cultivating this. So this aspect that's coming up is just, it's showing you what it is. It's also showing you how deep rooted it was. So you can really understand the work that you've done on yourself over you know the months, the years, lifetimes, really. You know, and really understand how far you've come. Um, because it's absolutely a glorious, glorious uh, journey that you've been on, even in this lifetime, um, especially in the last two years, six months, you know, completely different person. You might even look different. Um, I mean, some of that you may have done because you want to shift and change um, your outer way of looking to to really solidify how you, you feel inside. But some of you actually, you know, eye color change. I mean, there could be so many different things that are like different to you. Your energy, when you show up with different energy, you look different. Um, so this is, this is what you've asked for. You've asked for this freedom. You've asked to show up in this leadership capacity and you're more than capable of doing it. So this is just what's coming up for you. Again, this is just a blip. It's not a big deal. It's just for you to acknowledge. So as we say, don't go down the rabbit hole and think that you need to do, um, you know, a whole bunch of shadow work. If anything, all you really need is support. If you can find that support in and around you um, to really support you while you go through this aspect of it. And this is something that's sort of huge and small at the same time because it's showing you um, how far you've come and how deep rooted this was. And this for many of you was past lives too this not belonging uh, or not feeling that you belong or this feeling that you, you are not good enough or this feeling that you won't get to where um, you want to be or if you do, somebody will knock you off or it'll be taken from you. This is all sort of past life stuff and you've gone through all of this and you've worked through it and you've, you've sludged through some of this work and you've come out on top and this is just, it's, it's almost like a review. You get to review all of it and see how far and how deep it went. Um, and so to acknowledge how far and how deep, that's absolutely wonderful. Stay with that. Stay with that energy. Um, it's going to be your key to your freedom, really. The freedom that you've asked for. Um, this sort of gray matter is really the key once you unlock it. And it's connected to your ego too, which has so much information on ourselves, which is absolutely wonderful. I always laugh when I hear people, you know, um, I'm going to uh, fight my ego or I'm going to fight evil or I'm going to fight this and fight that. And, you know, and I've got to battle with, you know, so much battling when it's just so much energy. I always think it's not needed. Nothing needs to be fought in that way. Um, there's other ways of moving forward. 
and much easier ways of doing this. So with the ego, it really is about coming back and, and making sense of it and working with it. It's it's almost like it's the, your ego is your battery that's working. And, you know, sometimes uh, people just put the battery in and they go off and they... <laughs> They don't really, they don't really think about it, you know, but you are, you've decided to work differently. You're not like, you know, uh, you're not working battery powered anymore. You, with the ecosystem, you don't want to do that. Even with recycled batteries, you want to go solar powered, but you're not going to get rid of that battery. You're just going to work differently. If that makes sense. <laughs> um, that's what we've got. Yeah. You've got the nine of pentacles, beautiful. And under leadership, you've got tower. So for some of you, this is, it seems like it's falling apart, right? Under the leadership. It doesn't mean that you don't feel as though you can be a leader. It just like some of it's falling apart, but we absolutely promise you that sometimes things do need to fall apart in order for you to be able to see the wood for the trees. So if you're in this moment of the tower where things are just literally just sort of crumbling, what's going to be left is going to be incredible. For some of you, it doesn't necessarily feel quite like a tarot moment. It does in the moment, but when you come out of it, it feels as though it's going to be okay. We want you to focus on the fact that you have everything and you've been cultivating this. Nothing, nothing of worth can be taken from you at this time in this tarot moment. That's not what this tarot moment is about. This tarot moment is going in and it's just... It's cleaning up the old, everything that doesn't work anymore, and it's showing you the root of where it all came from. All that injustice that you went through, all of that um, pain that you went through, all of that trauma, it's showing you this. Um, and again, all it needs to do is be acknowledged. Um, and then there's an integration process that comes in and leads you to being a better leader. This is all about being a better leader. This is all about understanding other people. This is all about understanding how things are falling apart and allowing things to fall apart. You know, we see in our society, you know, people are still staying with the old narratives of this, that and the other and still things are falling apart and none of that is right or wrong. But for you, old narratives are gone. You don't want any of this anymore. And that's totally fine. So you've got to let it all fall apart. The old narratives have to go. The old ways of doing things have to go. And that can be unseemly at times. But you have everything you need. And it's, it's fallen away when you're ready for it. You have this firm foundation. If you're honest with yourself, you know that you have this firm foundation for you to fall apart before. Now, sometimes you've fallen apart when you didn't feel as though you had that firm foundation and it was really quite painful for you. But this is why you've got the Nine of Pentacles right by your tower. You have this foundation that's very solidified. You've got this, you've absolutely got this. So our advice to you is, there's many different ways to do this. Allow it to all fall away and acknowledge what's left and integrate it and, and love how far you've come. This freedom, that you want is really true freedom. It's inner freedom. It's the real freedom um, that uh, that allows you to move in any direction where you're uh, where you can create whatever you want to um, on earth without having to go through the the old crap anymore and the way in which you show up in leadership is a new form of leadership that we absolutely need you know we don't need the same old leaders the same old politics the same old rubbish the same old stories the same old narratives we don't need any of those anymore you know so you are exactly where you need to be this too shall pass you've absolutely got this let's get you one more tarot too um so what's being hidden and it's being revealed, just to be clear, is this, this part of you um, that was never seen by you and it's ready to be revealed. And while it might not feel so great, it's absolutely wonderful that you're at the point where you can actually feel it and experience it. It's, it's a huge, huge um, way forward for you. And this is the way that you were before going backwards and forwards, trying to figure out what you're wanting to do and not feeling as though you had the voice um, to or to, you know, to, to really step up in the world saying what you wanted to do before. And we have all of these are in reverse. And we are not doing that. We're going to turn them up. 
yeah you've got the full that's it so it's about going outside of the box we even did it here no more underneath no more reversed you get to go in and do things your own way you get to go in and figure out what it is that you want you get to have this brand new beginning Right. And this this brand new beginning is a long time coming. And it's also on your own terms. And it's also not accepting sort of the old narratives anymore, the old ways of doing things and the and also what it is that you don't necessarily want anymore. The things that you felt like you wanted, you may be shifting from that, from the way that your family looks like, the way in which your business looks like. Um, you know, whatever you're choosing to do might seem a little unconventional to other people. That's fine. That's fine. That doesn't that that does not need to matter to you. Just move forward with what you're doing because what you're doing is great. It doesn't have to look great on paper for everybody else. You know, that's absolutely fine. You have this new movement forward and this is the way that you want to have this freedom to express who you are and do what you want on your own terms. So don't worry about the tower moment. And these are older ways that you worked before. Um, just concentrate on the full energy and the freedom and the leadership energy. And you've absolutely got this. Again, this too shall pass. But all this is coming up for you for the greater good. It really, really is. And there's going to be this beautiful aha moment and this beautiful moment of like conquest in a way. Not that you're battling. Again, it's not using those those terms. But this, this, this new plateau of understanding of yourself and in turn being able to understand other people. And that is going to feel wonderful. And you are, if you're not there yet, you're getting there. So for those who are in the terror moment, you've got this. You've absolutely got this. So that's what we have for you, Pile 2, sending you so much love and beauty for exactly who you are and where you are in the world. If you feel like subscribing, that would be wonderful. Um, we will see you again. Take care. Bye -bye. Hello, beautiful pile threes. If you chose our little blue bird here, then we are working with unlocking hidden messages for you. What wants to be revealed to you at this time? We will start off with our oracle and move on to our tarot. Let's get right into your reading. So heart chakra is your first one. I love myself and others unconditionally and nurture loving relationships there. And you've got number 17 or eight if you put that together. And then you have power, 16, full moon, beautiful. And then you have psychedelic wisdom from the fairy folk, gorgeous. And then you have embracing. I embrace and love all of my life. So this is a wonderful reading, Pile 3, about really getting back to, and this has been sort of, uh, sort of a red thread uh, between Pile 1, 2, and 3, but of course, very different energy of owning um, your heart, owning who you are, um, but very specifically for you, putting your energy first, putting your needs first, and saying to the universe, no, this is what I want. So for some of you, what's happened is um, you've been really, uh, uh, there's an aspect to your personality that's very driven, and I'm doing this, that, and the other, and I've got it, and then there's another side of your personality that's like, I'll see what happens, right? Um, uh, I don't know if this is the best thing for me. Let's see what's going on. This and, that. and there's nothing wrong or right between the two different aspects of yourself. But this is an aspect. This is this is a time for you to step up. This is a time for you to say, all right, universe, this is what I want. This is really what I want. And I'm going to get really specific about it. And I want it done. And you know, it's almost like the universe is waiting for you to say, right, I'm, I'm ready to do this. It's almost like you've been so accommodating for this entire time. And the universe has accommodated your accommodations and it's waiting for you to like, and you don't need to lose the plot over this and go, I've had it. Da, 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 da. Sometimes in the past you've done that. And sometimes the way in which you've manifested too, you've, you've let things get to the point where you're like, I've had it, I've done it. I really need some help. I'm at rock bottom. And that's when that help came, right? So this is a way for you to, to actualize and utilize uh, that energy without having to reach rock bottom. And there's no reason for you to get to rock bottom, but some of you are a little bit miffed or trying to figure out the next way forward. Um, and there's things that you want, and it's not necessarily that you don't think that you deserve it, but maybe there's a way around it, or maybe I need to do this first, or maybe I need to do that first. You know, we're just going to be honest with you. A little bit of real talk, pile three. Sometimes you overcomplicate things. 
that are very simple. If you want something, ask for it, right? Now, in the past, you've asked for things and it's, you know, you've gotten them and it's not necessarily what you really wanted. And that's probably another reason why you back off from whatever. But whatever's going on here, here um, for a lot of you, and of course, this is a general reading, but for most of you, you're ready to ask for something and you want it. You just, you just want it. And here's the thing, pal three, you deserve it. You absolutely deserve it. And not only that, but you put the effort into getting it. You've done all the stages and all the steps of all the energy in and around it. And it might seem pretty big for you. Um, but to the universe, it really isn't big. We want to remind you that, you know, asking for $1 and asking for a million dollars, it doesn't, it's the same amount of energy for the universe. It's how we perceive it. You know, we are given what it is that we're ready to receive or what we believe we deserve, right? So this is something that you've always known, but this is something that you're really enacting. This is something that you're really integrating into your psyche. This is something that you are absolutely stepping up to and saying, all right, I'm doing this. I'm asking for this and I deserve it. And from that, you're going to really gather your power in and around that. And that's really important for you to understand your power at this point. You have an incredible amount of power, but sometimes you leak out your power in different ways, trying to figure out so many cockamamie ways to, to get to, um, you know, from point A to point B. But at the same time, you're a straight shooter. So it's a really interesting aspect to your personality. So one way of doing it too, right, um, is that, you know, work with your own magic. You've got a lot of elemental energy here, wisdom from the fairy folk. Work your magic. Don't forget your own magic here, um, the way in which you do it. And everybody has their own different aspect of magic and how they work with it or whether you, um, how you utilize it as your own personal private business, of course, but you have your own magic rely on your magic now because it's really going to make you see how powerful you are and how individual and how unique you are yes we're all one we hear this in spirituality all the time that's absolutely true and no one is higher or lower than anyone else you know sometimes when people speak they don't realize this and that's fine but the truth is no one's higher or lower everybody's life is worth the same that's just it and that's how the universe sees us right we may see us differently but that's just the way what society's done to us but at the end at the end of the day we are completely unique and we have unique blueprints and what you've come in to do in this lifetime is very unique um, and it's really fun too. You have that fun aspect to yourself, but you have these two sides of your personality that's sort of like uh, very driven and then really so expansive that you can't see the wood for the trees. And that can really pull yourself back at this point. So what's being hidden for you, what's waiting to be revealed to you right now is your power of utilizing and bringing in those two aspects of self and having this sort of super um, uh, beautiful aspect of you moving forward. So there's the, these two um, parts of yourself are ready to be integrated in a way that haven't been before. And one of the ways that you can do it is to really step up and be honest about what it is that you want and just say to the universe, I want this done. I just want it done. Um, and not worry about if that's the next thing on the list or um, if it can be done. And then you infuse your own magic into that. Lighten everything up with that fairy folk energy, with that elemental energy and get really fun. Integrate your inner, inner child in this. Bring more joy into it. Sometimes when you bring the joy into your personality and what you're doing, you bring the joy in with the expansiveness, which is absolutely wonderful. But sometimes when you over-focus, the joy gets shoved out right? It gets squeezed out a little bit. So this is a time for you to really integrate, bring in all these beautiful parts of your personality to work for you in a really, really direct way. It's almost like you decide, all right, well, when I need to be direct, I, you know, I'm, I'm going to go for it and I'm going to be really practical. And when I want magic, I'm going to, and there's a way to bring it all in. You can be, you know, you can be very practical with magic, you know, practical magic, right? <laughs> but you can be very practical side of magic. And then you can have um, this really sort of nuanced way of being expansive, but also be very um, heightened with that and very deliberate with it. There's so many ways that you can do this, but bringing in this new energy um, for you and integrating at this level will be really helpful for you because a lot of you are ready for this movement forward. Um, 
and this new level of embracing your uh, personality and the way in which you do things. So you have these really hard and soft elements to yourself and it's all about blending them. Um, and it's not going to take away from the hardness and the softness. It's just that when you've, when you've stepped up in, in certain situations, you've needed to be hard and then you've needed to be soft. Um, but it's almost like a lot of you don't know how uh, the in-between works or um, how, the, how the middle of that, how to balance that out. And that's where your true power is. Now, in the past, your power was very much in how you could motivate yourself and move forward and be you know, be spot on about things and then sort of back off and just let things happen. Um, and that worked for you then. And that's absolutely wonderful. But you've come to the end of the line for this and now you want something new. So you've got judgment here. Um, you've got the wheel of fortune with the heart chakra. So you are ready to move forward. Now the wheel of fortune can move in any direction, 180, but you're ready to move forward. And that's the way in which, you know, you, you kind of been living your life with a little bit of whiplash with the practical and then, you know, with moving this two different uh, sides to your personality. With the integration, you can move forward with that 180 and it doesn't have to be such a dramatic shift. Now, you're well able for that dramatic shift because you're set up for that dramatic shift, you know, because there's an element of you that's a little bit dramatic and, um, and works very well with different kinds of personalities, even difficult personalities. Um, and sometimes you take it upon yourself to be difficult and that's just the way you want to be too. You can be extremely stubborn about things and it's not necessarily stubborn in a way that's going to benefit you, but you're going to do it anyway. You always land on your feet, so it doesn't really matter. Um, but this is a way for you, yeah, you've got lovers here and you've got the four of cups. This is a way for you to um, not have these two sides of you sort of not warring exactly, but working sort of much more in unison. So you can really properly see what's in front of you. That one of the biggest things that you have here, Paul two, uh, Paul three, sorry, is that you don't always see um, your life very clearly. When you look back, you can be very hard on yourself. Now, it's a human trait. A lot of people are. Um, so welcome to the world. But you can be very hard on yourself when, when there's opportunities in and around you and you don't see them. You don't always see those opportunities when you're when you're kind of going backwards and forwards with this whiplash of one way to, to be and then the other way. And that, that causes you not to move toward these opportunities or take advantage of these opportunities. But you're ready to do this now. You're ready for this integration. You're ready to move forward and see these opportunities. Or sometimes, you know, if you're in this practical mindset and like the, the, the opportunity that's being laid out in front of you, it's not good enough, which is totally fine. It's not big enough. You'll be like, nah, I'll wait for the next one. But actually taking that baby step, you know, and taking that first opportunity would have led you to another one. And then you would have been, it would have been less frustrating. So again, this melding um, of your power brings you into this embracing of yourself. Um, that really brings you into a new form of power and also enables you to see your life differently, your path differently, and even the way in which you choose moving forward will be slightly different too. Um, now we want to be very, very clear. The way in which you worked before was neither bad nor good, um, and it worked for you perfectly then. But this is a little bit of a different energy in and around you, and you really want to level up, and that's kind of the um, that's kind of the, the thing, uh, the theme here. Um, it's leveling up. It came up in uh, part one and part two. So you want to level up too, but you have this beautiful softness that you always felt that needed to be protected. And it did. And now things have changed and you don't have to have um, uh, that level of protection. You know, that level of protection was, was necessary and it was wonderful, but it also didn't able you weren't enabled to see again those opportunities that were in and around you now we want to be clear you didn't miss out on anything you can't miss out on anything that was meant for you but this is about really moving forward yeah this is about really moving forward and making things easier for yourself and also moving forward in the way that you want to. Sometimes when you when you go backwards and forwards with this energies, these energies that you have, you you end up finding yourself into situations that you, oh my God, how did I get here? Oh yeah, I convinced myself that if I did it this way, it would be great. And at the time, 
it felt wonderful. The logical mind came in, it was great, it was beautiful. But then, you know, there was a segregation of that other side of you that was really not in and really, you know, it may have given you some red flags, but really wasn't taken into consideration when you when you made those decisions. And then when you're in those decisions from the inside out, you'll be like, I don't want to be here. So this is a way for you to really unleash this beautiful energy that you have. And, you know, these soft and these hard edges, you know, neither one of them is good nor bad, but when they're integrated, they're wonderful. And you do have this like kick ass side of you, like, you know, not letting people away with things. And, you know, you really get to the essence of truth. And then you have this beautiful sort of soft, um, sort of nurturing energy um, that's really deep. That's really, really, really deep. I mean, it's just, it's gracious and it's gorgeous and it's for people, it's for the earth. Um, and it's, you know, I don't want to say it's rare and I hope it isn't, but it, you know, I don't come across this energy that often, you know, and it's the energy that we need in the world because it's sort of, it's new energy or it's older energy that we had before we had like hundreds, thousands of years of sort of crap, darkness in the world, right? people of power just using it for themselves this is this is older energy this is magical energy this is um this is spell like energy this is it's it's wisdom this is something that you have this is something that you carry that your bloodline carries um and it's almost like you had this protector sort of outer tubing protecting that aspect of you because the world you know, did not respect that kind of wisdom. But we are in a new sort of version of the world. Yeah, it's still chaotic. It's still crumbling. And there's still, you know, there's there's still stuff that's going on. I'm not going to say it's idealistic. But there's something that's birthing out of the chaos. And what's birthing out of the chaos for you is a newfound freedom of, again, that integration without having to look over your shoulder and constantly be fighting or worried um, about showing that side of yourself in all aspects of your life, you know, um, showing up with that vulnerability, showing up with that beauty all of the time. Now, not everybody's going to get it. Not everybody's going to get all of the aspects of your personality because, um, you know, we've been trained between good and evil and fighting and this, that, and the other and battling. And, you know, we, we see it everywhere. Um, so not everybody's going to see and respond or really understand to the depths of where you're coming from with this compassion that you have. Um, because, you know, we, again, we, we've been indoctrinated. However, um, you have that anyway. And it's just, you know, it, it really doesn't matter if others are to, to a certain degree not going to be able to really see you for what you are. Uh, it really doesn't matter. You hold that light anyway. You hold who you are anyway, and you stand in that light anyway. Um, and and m that movement forward on your own terms, it's extremely, extremely important for you at this time. It's, it's about your identity. It's about claiming all of these aspects of yourself. And there's an aspect of you that needs to do this to be able, and this is all about you. And this is something that you can do for yourself instead of putting others first or putting humanity first you can say i want this i want to move in the world this way um and it's owed to you in this way you have this wisdom to be able to relax and integrate that wisdom and just be who you are at every moment um is absolutely incredible i want to choose uh we want to choose i want to choose one of these cards um and then I'm also feeling a little bit of unicorn energy. So this is, I'm not sure that any of this was necessarily completely hidden from you, um, but your aspect of power, the way in which you drove your power and the way in which you utilized your power was hidden from you to a certain degree and is now open for you to really interpret and understand at a deeper level. You've got attraction. You've got super moon here and you've got ignite. Yeah, opportunities flowing in. This is a new way for you to be in the world. And this is a new way for you to attract what you want and to to feel attractive. There's, you know, there's there's many different ways that you didn't necessarily, you know, and, you know, we're not just talking about beauty, but there is an essence of feeling wonderful, feeling attractive when you're integrated and you can you can absolutely show people who you are and stand in that energy. And there's there's a beauty 
right? It's intimidating to some people, but you know, there's a beauty when somebody walks into the room and you can, you can tell that they're who they are, right? No matter what, they're just who they are. And it's just, it's this confidence and it's not necessarily what they look like. It's an energy to them. It's extremely attractive. You have that and you've known how to utilize it and work it in rooms. But this is a way of like, interacting with that and having that at all times and knowing no matter what everything's going to be okay and the way in which you make decisions the decisions that you make in the world the way in which you move forward the way in which you interact with people the way in which you handle or deliver within your life is going to shift based on this power that's coming in for you excuse me or this newfound version of power and again it was always there it's just a matter of how you are utilizing it um, this is really very exciting so as you come into this integration and you really understand who you are there's going to be a much deeper level at a core level of who you are there's going to be layers um, that you can really understand and that really deepen and this just brings in more compassion and more beauty and more heartfelt into your heart and it it solidifies that that gorgeousness in life and really um it just ex this expansion that you're that's made available that's available for you now that you can embrace again you can as we say here in unicorn like to tarot you know you can live spherically in any direction but still be in your path and know that you're going to end up exactly where you need to be this is absolutely available to you right now so this is what we have for you, Pile 3. This is incredible, absolutely beautiful. Um, and we are sending you so much love and light and beauty for exactly who you are and where you are in the world. If you have not subscribed yet and you feel like you want to, uh, we would love to have you. I'm sure you know how to subscribe to YouTube by now. But we, regardless, whether you do or not, sending you so much beauty and thank you so much from the bottom of my heart for tuning in and being here today. It means so much. Thank you. Take care. Bye-bye.